Welcome back to the channel. We're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. We don't want to waste any time. So to start off with getting the Wonder Weapon on Liberty Falls, we're going to actually start right in the spawn area and we're going to go up to the door on the left side that we need to unlock. Right up the stairs, we're going to go and open the apartment door and there will be a bunch of zombies that just kind of push right out of there. So we're going to want to take care of them. But that is going to be the room that we need to go to to actually build the gun. So there are going to be three steps, there's three parts of this, you can do them in any order. One of the ones that we're looking at right now is inside that building, but we will come back to that later because we are going to need a mangler to spawn. The second one, you're going to head right up these stairs, and just on the other side of this bus, right in front of the flower shop, you are going to find a little water spout and you need to take the handle off of it. Just hold down E or whatever your interact button is on console and then we're gonna head even further up and come back to that part later. We're gonna head to the graveyard and then after spending a little bit of time there we're gonna get a special zombie to spawn in which killing it will give us a key to open the shed that is currently on our left. So at this point we've spent the better portion of an entire round here and you can see the groundskeeper is actually right there he doesn't usually attack you i think but you're going to pick up that tool shed key it is not the same as the loot keys that you will find around the map you're going to take that shed key and you're going to run right back down the steps to where we were you're going to head over here to the left and the shed will be right behind the house you're going to go in there with the key and you're going to pick up the part that is right in the entrance Once we have the first part, I highly recommend that you grab Jug and maybe an armor upgrade for this next part. We're going to be spending a lot of time in the bowling alley. It's a nice open area. It's easy to loop train, but you can't leave the area. So we're going to take the water piece. We're going to punch or shoot that open, and you're going to put the water thing on there. You're then going to have to manually turn it to build the water pressure for the better part of 30 seconds, maybe. And you will need protection you will need to just have no zombies around you while you're doing it because they will still attack you so do your best to get rid of all of them and then complete this in between the rounds here you can see that we're holding down interact and just how slow it's going on the gauge building over on the left i'm gonna have to actually stop this and then come back and do it again and then i leave just a tiny bit left but once you are done with it you just come back and it will drop apart for you and that'll be the second step out of the way. Something to note here is that when you finish it, it will just automatically kill everybody in the area. So you don't really need to worry about that. Go ahead and just finish it, pick up the part and we will move on. Once we're ready to move on, we're going to get to the right of spawn and it's going to be that gated building that we were looking at earlier at the beginning of the video. And we're going to need a mangler of some sort to shoot it down, whether that's a mangler themselves or shooting it for you or you pick up the support item, mangler's arm or craft it. Whatever works for you, just have a mangler shoot down the door and then look for these scrap piles that are in there. Some of them might be booby trapped with the vermin or have scrap in it, but we're just going to look for the one that gives us the actual part. We can kill the mangler, we don't need him from here on out. And then we're just going to head back to the apartment room that we were in at the beginning, and we're going to actually craft the weapon, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. So once you have yours built, there's two firing modes. The primary firing mode will suck up enemies, that'll be the normal shoot button, and the alternate firing mode will be that concussive blast right there that you just saw on screen very powerful will one shot all the normal zombies will not one shot the manglers and abominations but it will do a decent amount of damage to them from testing what i could see is that if you had a hundred ammo it would do the same damage for the concussive blast as if you did it from about one to five ammo uh, to the manglers and abominations so there's no point in wasting a full mag i would always use the primary fire mode and suck up all the zombies and then once I got to about 5-10 ammo left I would just perform a blast from there. A few more things that we need to go over real quick. This can be pack a punch, not all wonder weapons can, so it is a good thing that this one has it because this is an essential weapon for the higher rounds. Um, if you are using the blast firing mode, be careful if you're around cars because they will explode if you blast them 
and they will damage you even if you have PhD Flopper. It does not protect you from car explosions. Max Ammos will refill it all the way, so if you use a Concussive Blast and it depletes your mag all the way, you can just pick up a max and it will be right back up to full. On the other hand, Speed Cola does not affect the ammo recharge rate. I tested that. They should take about 16 seconds to fully recharge from zero. Um, and Speed Cola does not affect that recharge rate at all. And finally, the Suck Fire Mode, the primary fire mode, will suck up all sorts of items towards you, including power-ups. It will stun lock the manglers so that they can't move or do anything if you are right up next to them. Um, but it will pull all sorts of things next to you, so if you do not want to pick up like a nuke or something, just be careful using that firing mode in a group of enemies and make sure you are backpedaling while you do it. Otherwise, you will probably pick up a nuke or something that you didn't want to pick up. And with that, we've pretty much covered everything that we need to about this weapon. Just remember the first step, and you can do these in any order that you want to. You're going to go to the groundskeeper up in the cemetery, right by Pack-a-Punch at the top of the hill. You're going to get the key from him, get the shed open, grab the part, move on to the water part from the flower shop that's just down the hill from there. And you're going to move to the bowling alley. You should grab any kind of protection, armor, jug, whatever you need. Grab some monkeys or decoys that'll help you manually add water pressure. And then you're going to get a mangler arm however you want to and break open that door. Find the third part, go back to the apartments at spawn and craft the weapon and you will be all set. Drop a comment down below if you want me to cover anything else for Liberty Falls. I have not yet played the new map but I plan to here pretty soon. And again, this is a weapon that got me all the way up to round 50 with no problem at all. You can go ahead and check out my round 50 easy exfil video to cover some more content, but this weapon was used to get me there and it made everything super easy. So make sure to grab this in all of your runs. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps.